Hello and welcome to Oppress Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to build a beautiful online store using WordPress and WooCommerce. And you can do it within a couple of minutes, uh, maybe 10 minutes or 20 minutes uh, after watching this video. So as you can see, this is my blank WordPress website and I do not have any theme yet. Uh, the theme I am using is 2022 and uh, there is no plugin activated yet. So uh, I'm starting it from scratch after installing WordPress on my uh, local server. So first of all, we will come to appearance and come to themes. Then click on add new. We will install Astra theme. So type Astra in the search bar, A-S-T-R-A, -A, Astra. Click on install first. Uh, I already installed it, so click on activate. Okay, now we will need uh, a plugin called Astra Sites. So come to plugins, click on add new. In the search bar, type Astra Sites and press enter. Install starter templates for uh, Astra theme. It's using Elementor page builder. Uh, also, it's for Beaver builder or uh, other drag and drop builders, but uh, we will be using Elementor for this video. So after installing this plugin, now click on activate. After activating the Astra site plugin, click on appearance and here you will see a drop down menu uh, called starter templates. Click on starter templates. The rest of the plugins um, and content will be mm, installed while uh, this wizard. So it, a wizard will be open. You will uh, see what kind of template you need. So in search type shop and all shop themes, shop uh, templates will be loaded. Now look for the template you want to install for your website. For example, uh, this is a coffee shop template. This is a plant shop. Um, these are pre-built uh, templates. You will um, probably change the layout or the products within them. But uh, this will be a base template, a base website for uh, your WordPress website. So uh, there are some premium templates. Uh, leave them and use just free templates if you do not have the premium version of Elementor or the starter templates, these uh, Astra. Now, let's say we are in, we are building a skincare store, a skincare products store. So uh, this template is a better skin cleanser store. So click here. We can add uh, different products later, but uh, this will be our uh, basic or our base website for our main website. So uh, first of all, in, in the first step, we will uh, choose a logo and you can choose the logo width from uh, right away from here. You can uh, change these things later. Uh, if you want to leave them, you can skip and continue. But if you want to change them, click on upload file uh, and upload your own logo. Uh, you can choose uh, how much, how, uh, what width you want to add to your logo and uh, then you can continue. Um, let me um, skip this step for, for time. Click on skip and continue. Now you can choose the colors. Default colors are uh, these ones for the, this template. You can change them uh, to any colors you want. The preview will be uh, generated here, but uh, as my PC is not loading this, uh, that is why uh, I can't see this. So let me skip this. You can also choose the fonts. Let me choose these fonts and uh, these these colors are fine. Click on continue. Uh, update plugin. Skip and continue. Okay. Now, uh, delete previously imported sites, no. Import customizer setting, yes. Import widgets, install required plugins, yes. And import contents. Click on submit my build, uh, submit and build my website. 
Now it will automatically install other required plugins and all the contents required for this website, this demo website and our website will be ready. After that, I'll show you how to change the contents on home page or products page, how to add product, how to add simple product, a variable product and uh, how to manage shop page, category page and uh, even single page. So uh, let's wait for this and I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Um, I'm uh, pausing this video until this is done. This will probably take uh, 8 to 10 minutes and uh, after that uh, we will be continuing this video. Okay, after the demo website imported, you can uh, see this page. So click on view your website and uh, again on this page exit to dashboard. So in on the front end, you will be able to see your website like you want it. Okay, this is not the right home page. Uh, we chose the wrong option. Maybe we should delete our previously imported site. But uh, this is the home page. We will check our pages for the correct home page uh, yes maybe this one is the correct one so let me add it as our default home page let's edit the name change the name to home 2 so we recognize which one is which one and uh, click on update and then exit to dashboard and go to your settings and reading now uh, here choose your home page too and click on save changes now open the site front end and refresh the page and your uh, default home page will be the correct one okay now here you can uh, change the logo you can uh, place uh, in separate menu uh, of your own choice uh, you can change the links for these buttons you can change this text you can change this background uh, as well as you can change these uh, products remove them and add uh, your own okay th there are uh, some most loved by customer uh, these are some custom products added to this home page some uh, customer reviews or testimonials and uh, the Instagram feed then some features of your website and then some text so uh, now let me show you how to edit this home page using Elementor uh, here you can see edit with Elementor because this page is already built with Elementor page builder so when you click the this button edit with Elementor the Elementor editor front end editor will be open and it's a drag and drop editor so it's easy to change each mm, of the sections and all contents are easily changeable okay now the home page um, front end editor loaded these are new arrivals so um, you do not have to change the product they are already um, uh, got from your product section so first of all let's change the content of this uh, front end section this this first section if you click on these six dots for this main section or this hero section click here and if you come come to the style in the background section you can change this image to any other image you have or you can uh, upload it from your computer so uh, this is how you can change the background if you click on title you can change this welcome to flawless store welcome to my store let's say uh, click on this title to change the best products in cosmetics like this or any other text uh, so on this shop button shop now button uh, you can change the text for the shop now or uh, shopping or any other text and here is the link so let's open the home page in a new tab and 
copy the shop URL and come to Elementor on shopping, paste the link here. You can change the link setting by clicking on this setting icon. Uh, open a new uh, open a new window or add no follow um, or some custom attributes. So we do not need these ones and click on update to update this page. Okay, new arrivals, click on the title and you can change it right away here. On this pen icon, when you click here, this is the products um, short code and you can change the columns layout from four to three or five or six and the total product limit uh, to eight, six or uh, seven. For example, if you choose three columns, then six or nine products uh, limit will be okay. If you choose five products, then uh, five, 10, 15, uh, it means multiple of the columns will be uh, the limit. So mm, leave this as it is. Now, this is an image. This is not a background. If it was a background, then you can uh, click here, come to style and change the background. But this is an image. So if you click this element, then you can directly change or upload the image from uh, this choose me choose image button. If you click on choose image, you can upload it from your computer or you can change it uh, using your currently available images in your media library. So come here. Similarly, you can um, click on any text like this and you can change it from this editor, this sidebar. You can check your website even if your um, this editor is open. You can click here to hide this panel and this is how the website will look like on your desktop. So to reveal the uh, panel again, click here and it will be back. Similarly, click on this button to change the text and the link to this button. There are some icons. Uh, this is another element where you can choose icon here. You can uh, change the shape. You can change the view and you can change this title or you can change this text, which is this one. Similarly for this one and for this one as well. Okay, this section uh, have a background. So um, similar to the first section, the hero section, you can click on these six dots and come to style and you can change the background, this image. You can change the text right here. You can change the link for this button, the video link. Uh, similar for this one, this one, and these testimonials are also in uh, different sections. Click on each one to change the content. The testimonial uh, have these stars. Um, these are a separate things. These are separate things, but uh, these are the testimonials where the text is here, image is here, and the name is Jennifer Lois here. The Instagram feed, click on, click here, and these are the gallery images. You can click here to add more images by uh, click on insert gallery uh, or click on add to gallery. Then you can choose more images by pressing control on your keyboard and then choose images and add to gallery and they will be added here automatically. Okay, we will remove them as we have enough. Close it and here is the final section of this page. Okay, now uh, I'll show you how to add products. Uh, in the dashboard, you have a product section, which is added by WooCommerce plugin. Uh, on products, you can see uh, all of your products here. There are some 21 products. You can edit products one by one by clicking here, or you can delete all of them and add your own. So for add your products, click on add new. Type in the product name. For example, uh, let's say skin cleansing milk 
and add some product this is a sample product for this uh, sorry sample description description for this product uh, you can add as many lines as you want you choose categories let's say it's cleansers now here is the product data uh, simple product and variable product simple product mean that you uh, only have one variant for the product which uh, which will be a single price for example uh, if ten dollars for this product then it will always be ten dollars no matter uh, what option they choose but uh, for variable products you can choose uh, for example you have two uh, two packets in uh, one package and you have three packets in second package so if the price is different for them uh, for example let's say you will you will add some discount if they buy uh, two packages two packets uh, then you add it uh, add uh, buy one get one free or buy two get one free so the three package will be uh, a different variant that is why uh, we will choose variable product and then we will choose some um, variations like here you can see variation is there now but in sing simple product there is no variation there are just attributes so this is how uh, you can add a product let's say regular price will be 10 bucks and if you want to add a discount so eight dollars is a sale price okay now scroll down the here is uh, the short description and you can add product images here and a single image here and the product gallery images here so this is all for uh, the adding the product and uh, this is all for today's video i hope you learned something from this video please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and you will not miss any of my future videos thank you